Hey guys, so today we're going to be seeing, showing out all of my feeder insects. So today we're going to, I wanted to have my very own pet waxworms that I got here. And I wanted to have them because they're kind of like caterpillars. And they're supposed to be feeder insects, but Pebbles still want to eat them very much. I mean, she eats them, but she doesn't eat them very often. Yeah, they're not her favorites. So these are the ones I set aside to be pets in the cup. And then here's another one that was going to be my pet, but he's crawling off the lid. For some reason, they don't really crawl very well on like this table. See, that he's not really crawling. I guess he is now. I guess I have to do that with a little wiggly thing. Maybe. And so this is what they're going to be in, and I wrote wax ones on it. And this is a old Dubia Roach container. The lid was already ready with air holes, so we just decided to use this. And there's plenty of room. So these are them in their new enclosure. So we are going to be feeding them uh, this oats and honey that we have upside down. <laughs> so that it's upside down so we can get the honey to fall to the top instead of like us having to like yank it down to the bottom. So that is their honey, and that looks like, I think I may have did it a little bit too much, but that's still, okay, I'll still eat it. So that's their little enclosure. I can still hide under it, and hopefully they don't get sticked up together with the honey. And by the way, if you're wondering what these red things are, these are cocoons or pupae, pupa. So those are all ones that are already turned into cocoons. They, they were already good. So now I want to show my Dubia roaches. This is actually a Tupperware that we punched holes in. So that's, that's my Dubia farm. There's huge ones and smaller yeah. ones. And then, yeah, like there's some big ones right there. Oh, that's a big one. See that? Oh. Here they are, all on the same. And you're, if you're wondering why um, we don't let them out of their container, it's because we don't want them roaming around our house. That's disgusting. Yes, that is 100% disgusting. Look at all of them. Yeah, we definitely don't want these out of the container, so we keep them in a slick plastic container that they can't crawl out of, right? Yeah, and also, the something cool is when you touch their backs, they all awake and start running everywhere. That's the best part about Dubia. Ugh. Um, and yeah, this one's like, there, there we go, they're all over there. Yuck. And also they sound like <laughs> They sound like their little legs and antennas and stuff. And also we feed pebbles or leopard gecko some mealworms and crickets. We just don't have any of those at the moment. So now we're gonna be showing how to make Rapache Bugbur. So Rapache Bugbur is a kind of gelatinous cube kind of thing that your bugs will eat. You make it by having boil water. And then you mix the water with the powder. You need three parts of water to every one part of powder. And then you mix it up. And then um, you let it sit until it's firm and you also cut it into cubes or slices or one like long bar of it. And then that will be your Apache burger. So those were my feeder bugs. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.